Right, well good morning. Australia, Canada, New Zealand, Hong Kong, China, and even one or two viewers in Russia. It's Tuesday and we're now looking at what's left of the cutting to be removed. There's not very much left. Um, if you can see that digger there, the orange one there, the one, the yellow one that's just moving, that you can see from the other side, that's right by the bridge. That's the road or the, the crossing that's still there. And it's just going over now. So that digger's going over to the other side. That's all there is left. That's it. They haven't broken through yet because there's that to remove, but it's not that much. Certainly do a bull in, in a week, I'd have said. If not less. So a look round now. It's a much better day today. Whole area. The uh, track itself there, that looks to be in 60 foot sections, 60 foot lengths now. So that's much better. Uh, let's go along there. They left those sleepers there for when they extend the line for the next 60 foot length. Uh, there's your access road, which is very muddy and hasn't been used for some time. Now we come round to the site of the action, which is the bridge. What's left of it? Can't even call it the moon anymore now, it's more like an asteroid. So, not much left to go. Will they get done by next year? Yes, almost certainly, I think now. There's the digger, you can just about see it working on the other side of the land bridge. So if you're not familiar with the area, that's all waste matter that's staying in situ, that great big mountain there. It's clay on the top there, that's clay. But the rest of it is undisturbed waste matter. And I do think it's worth pointing this out, that despite the fact that it's wet there and soaking wet there, the track itself is perfectly dry. This track is not going to get waterlogged, it's been very well laid and very well drained. There are the 30 foot lengths. They've all been replaced by 60 foot lengths now, so that's the finish line, just about. Waiting some ballast and a bit of final sorting out, and it's done. So, you can, as I said, you can see both sides. Well, certainly a much better day today. Warmer, it's not raining. Now if you look behind this lorry, that, that lorry there's a vertical, that, and that is where they're working the other side, so that's as far as you've got to go now, just the width of this bridge. So if they're not going to leave the bridge there, they're going to break through probably by the end of the week. And that gives us a chance to see the actual size of the tip. There's a person, and there's the cutting. It's very, very, very deep. That sort of reminds me of cut and cover. That's interesting.
That's how sticky the mud is, the clay is. He needs a bigger spade.